good day greetings from icon school of excellence i am anpuma your computer teacher i am here to teach you computer subject for grade 4 i wish you all are safe and doing good i hope you are also ready for learn from virtual classroom right we'll start with an interesting topic today about knowing your computer before i begin my class let's start with a quick warm up activity what is that activity let's see i hope you all remember that right we all did in the taught we already taught in the bridge course right so today what is that it's about happy day rhymes wow so this is a rule in this you have to keep your face and you have to smile before doing this rhyme okay so while doing the rhyme you should always smile okay that is the rule of the game okay what is the shall we start the rhyme happy day happy day wish you a happy day okay happy day happy day wishing you a happy day okay we all sing the song and rhyme twice okay let's all start ready get set go happy day happy day wishing you a happy day happy day happy day wishing you a happy day so we all get energy right very good so with the same energy we we'll start our class okay before i start my class i want to give you a brief recap on what we have learned and what we remember about the computer a computer consists of different parts and devices what are the devices there are four types of devices what are those input devices output devices processing devices and storage devices the devices used to enter data enter enter means in enter the data is known as input devices they also used to give commands to the computer the devices used to obtain information or result from a computer are known as output devices what i say result result means which you can after you have done your exam that is the finished it's an out it's already your results have come that is a result so that it is the same meaning output devices the central processing unit cpu is the processing device in a computer system all calculations are done in the cpu cpu that's why cpu is known as the brain of the computer remember right very good the storage devices are used to store the data permanently and carry the data from one place to the another place very good so you hope all you remember all the lessons what we have learned and what we know about a computer and what are the devices okay now let's go through that what is a, in briefly what what is the meaning of input and what are the output and devices briefly okay we input devices elaborately we will learn okay input devices the devices which allow the user to feed input that is data and instructions into the computer are known as input devices what i said which we uh, we will say to do some actions or we'll give some data sometimes maybe a data sometimes we we'll give instructions to the computer if i click on the paint it should open the paint that is an instruction if i say 4 plus 3 equal to what what is what is output can you please tell me computer if i say that i'm giving a data of 4 plus 3 so that is an input it may be a data or it may be an instruction they also used to give commands to the computer the de these devices transform data and instructions into the form understood by computer okay we cannot simply say okay click on the what click on the uh, paint do the paint i want sir it will not do so with the help of these devices only we want the computer to do some actions what are the commonly used input devices as you seen in the picture keyboard mouse joystick light pen trackball touch screen microphone scanner web camera graphical tablet barcode okay let's uh, discuss the use and working of some of commonly used input devices okay let's go through that keyboard input devices 
keyboard is the one of the most popular and widely used input devices correct here only we can see a lot of things right we you to type in you will tell all this without this keyboard you cannot do anything correct which is used for typing text it has many buttons it's called as a keys what are those in the keyboard remember that keyboard if you remember that there, there you can see a lot of things correct you can see a words you can see a numbers you can see some uh, different different all these are called as a keys okay computer keyboard key and board which has a keys on the board that's why it is called as a keyboard the computer keyboards which we use are commonly known as quarterly keyboards what is this quarterly quarterly why the name has come quarterly you know if you observe this carefully in the keyboard only alphabets the first here row the first row you can see that it has a six letters q w e r t y the name quarter comes from the first six letters in the top row of the alphabets of the key alphabet keys of the keyboard this is the figure shows the keyboard and the types of keys it has what are the types of keys what it is a it has a number it has an alphabet keys you can see these are all alphabet keys and these are all called number keys even number keys are present here also see these are all the numerical keypad okay and you can see the caps lock if you want to print in a capital letter like suppose q w e r t quarty so how i how uh, how the quarty came in the caps lock because when i click on the caps lock and when i want to bigger in the cap capital letters so i when i press that it will come in a capital letter the all other words in smaller letter if you want only capital letter then you need to press on this and space bar how i got a space between the two words because of space bar okay and the enter key when i press enter then only it goes to the second line and cursors moving the cursor from our back side front side left side all these ways and function keys these are all called the function keys and this is the backspace if you want to delete and this is another one is a delete key so these are all the keys in the keyboard okay next input devices what is a mouse you all know that mouse right don't think that uh, it's a mouse or a rat it's a mouse in the key in the inner computer okay how that is look this looks like this okay a mouse is a pointing device what is that it is a point it, it is just it has a pointer like you see this is the mouse it's a pointing device that controls the movement of the mouse pointer on the monitor the, this is called mouse pointer okay on the monitor it used to drawing a pictures and selecting objects as well as a text on the monitor if i want to select this text i can select this with the help of the uh, with the help of the this one mouse it allows you to operate the computer by clicking menus options icons instead of typing commands if i want to open a this if i want to open a paint paint or i click on the windows button you can use mouse only right you don't need a keyboard correct like that it has two buttons namely if you see that the left mouse button right mouse button and scroll wheel i hope you are all remember mouse right okay we we'll, i anyway, i'll show you based upon the technology it uses the mouse is categorized into two types okay one is mechanical mouse and another is optical mouse what is a mechanical mechanical and optical okay so what are the two types of mouses are available mechanical mouse and optical mouse what are the buttons we have left mouse button and right mouse button and we will have in middle scroll wheel also okay for scroll scroll wheel scrolling up and down correct so anyway first we will see the two types of mouses what are those mechanical mouse when i say mechanical mouse this mouse of has a metal or a rubber ball as shown in the picture there is a rubber ball and its bottom which rotates when the mouse is moved on a mouse pad when your mouse is moved what will happen this ball will rotate whichever side you want to move so like this it will look from the back side you can open it and you can remove the ball like this 
And when I want to go to right side, I'll just move the mouse so that what it does, the ball also rotate along with that. So that is how the direction of the mouse will be moving. Okay, that's why it is called a mechanical mouse. We have used when we are child. Okay, now I think you people never have not seen a, a mechanical mouse. Okay, there is a disadvantage of this mouse. We will I will tell you in the next next slide. Okay. So this is the mechanical mouse. Next one is optical mouse. We will see what is an optical mouse. I hope you all see in our lab, right? This has a light backside. Whenever you move the mouse, the light will be started glowing, correct? That is why this is called optical mouse. This type of mouse uses a light beam instead of rotating ball to detect the movement of the mouse. So there in mechanical mouse, the, bo the ball will be moving and the mouse will be moving. So it so that the pointer will move according to the ball movement. But whereas here LED, a LED light beam will rotate. So based upon that, the key will be rotated and the pointer will be moved. As the user moves the mouse, the pointer on the screen also moves accordingly. Okay, optical mouse is more durable as compared to the mechanical mouse as it has no moving parts such as rotating ball. Therefore, nowadays, nowadays the optical mouse is used. You know, when we are using a rotating ball, you know, sometimes we are not keeping in our um, pad or the surface is not clean. When it is not clean, what happens is that the dirt started accumulating inside the ball. So every time when there is a, we have to hardly move the mouse so that it will go to the correct point. Okay, if I want to collect on the click on the light beam, it will not happen very easily with the mechanical mouse. What happens is the dirt started accumulating as I told you. So what we does is we open it and we'll clean the ball and we'll keep it again. So this is how it is not durable. That is why nowadays we are using only optical mouse. Okay, so next we'll see more input devices. Next is joystick. You know joy how joy it is okay the name itself says that the joystick is also a pointing device used for playing games on a computer the simple joystick has only one or two buttons and a trigger so this is how they will play the games and clicking on the button right there yes you might be seeing now different different joysticks but yes you while playing the games you will use joysticks okay second one is the light pen okay here by using a light pen this is the one is another type of pointing device the joystick is also a pointing device uh, come uh, mouse is a pointing device joystick is a pointing device and light pen is also a pointing device that resembles as a pen it used for drawing images writing text and selecting objects directly on the screen you don't need to write or you don't need to like a pointer you don't need to go you need to just like a pen in the paper how you will write you can write it like that with the help of the light pen itself and the next one is track ball a trackball is also a pointing device okay so how till now how many pointing devices we saw four what are those mouse joystick light pen and trackball a trackball is also similar like a mouse okay uh, works just like a mouse and can be used to point at an object on the computer screen okay let's go through the more input devices okay what are those touch screen nowadays everyone sees the touch screen right you're using a mobile phone which is a touch screen and you're using nowadays you're using tablets which are as well a touch screen whatever you want to do you can touch it okay wherever you want to feel that you will just touch instead of clicking on it so that is why touch a touch screen is a special special kind of input device which enables you to choose an icon or a menu item displayed on a screen by simply touching it with a finger that is why it is called as a touch screen okay next input devices is a scanner yes what is a scanner scan scan a document a scanner scans an image on a text on a paper text on a paper and displays it in the computer screen. Suppose you have gone to a beautiful place where the where the where the cameraman had taken a picture of yours. But what you want to do that you want to take and keep the picture on your computer. With the help of the picture, with the help of the scanner, you put a picture in the scanner and it will scan the object, whatever the picture or a text you have given, some documents you have given. You want to make it in a permanently store in your computer. 
So that is how you will scan the copy. This scanned copy can be saved or modified using the image editing software as per your need. What is the image editing software we all use for? It's a MS Paint. Okay, microphone. Yes, the microphone is used to record your voice, music, or any other com any other sound into the computer. So, if you want to talk, or if you want to talk, uh, if you want to say something, if you are talking with a friend in your another um, another call, you are doing a Skype call. How they came to know that they can hear you by using your microphone. You can talk in the microphone. Microphone will send that sound or voice to the other person. Okay. Another input device is a digital camera. Nowadays, we are using phones only as a camera, but yes, there is a digital camera as well where you can use for capturing and storing photographs and videos. Also, you can take into the digital form or in a memory card. As inside the even in our uh, this in in our uh, uh, phones also there is a memory card. So even in the uh, digital camera also you can see a memory card. Correct. The memory card what it does is that it stores all the pictures and videos and you can keep it in you can take out that uh, uh, take out that memory card and keep it in your uh, connect to your or a computer you can see those photos right you can view the captured image on the screen of the digital camera and web camera okay previously when the classes have happened online classes have happened how you all saw me by using a web camera so you and uh, you are also showing your face to me and i'm showing your face to my face to you how this is or this this happened these are all happened because of web camera a web camera is used to capture live images and videos it is the most commonly used for doing video chat with friends or relatives or now we are using web camera for our online classes also okay so this is how we use web cameras the second one is the the, uh, the one is graphical tablets the graphical tab the graphics tablet consists of flat surface and a pen known as stylus artists usually draw pictures on the graphical graphics tablet which are displayed on the computer screen so it is not like you can draw a uh, pictures only on the paper and they will show you or you can see like cartoonist how the cartoonist are doing the cartoons you know they will draw pictures in the uh, by using this uh, graphics tablet only and they will make a cartoons very beautifully so that they don't need to scan it again the image and how they will do that this is all a very big process whereas if they can draw in the graphics tablet itself what they can do the image then and there has been displayed in the computer and they can make a beautiful animation picture right so it was mostly used by an artist barcode reader now don't tell everyone might have seen the barcode reader when you all went to a shop and you bought any you brought your a favorite toy or any product what that does they generally does uh, uh, they'll do they'll do scanning of the product correct how they do scanning with the barcode reader a barcode reader is an input device which is used to read the barcode of the product Barcode readers are widely used in supermarkets, department stores, and libraries. Yes, where and all we can see. Yes, as I told you, in the malls also you can see the barcode reader. Correct? These are all the input devices which we have learned. Okay, let's revise what we have learned today in the this thing. What is the revision time? Okay, a computer is an electronic machine that accepts the data and instructions from the user. Process the data according to the given instructions and produce the desired results. Okay, why it is called an electronic machine? Because it is connected to the electric electricity. It works on based upon the electron electricity. That is why it is called as an electronic machine. The devices which allow the user to feed input, that is data and instructions into the computer are known as input devices. Okay, today we have learned about input devices. Okay, that is why we are revising about only input devices. What is the input devices? The devices which allow the user to feed input that is data. It may be a data. What I given the example 4 plus 3 or an instruction opening a paint. That is an instruction to the computer known as input devices. Some commonly used input devices are keyboard mouse scanner web camera 
scan uh, oh, i have written scanner two times my mistake i'm sorry a maybe graphic tablet barcode reader track ball touch screen light pen all these are examples of some commonly used examples for input devices the compute the computer keyboards which we are which we use are commonly known as qwerty keyboards correct why how you can see qwerty where you can see that it, it it is visible on the in the where it is in the first top row of the first six letters of alphabet keys of the keyboard okay you remember right qwerty keyboard this is the commonly known as qwerty keyboard optical mouse okay what is an optical mouse it is a type of computer mouse which uses a light beam instead of rotating ball to detect the movement of the mouse how many mouses are available now mechanical mouse and optical mouse mechanical mouse we are not using because why we are not using because it is not durable as compared to the optical mouse that is why we are not using mechanical mouse correct okay very good all you people remember the main points of the today's session right so let's go through the exercises okay okay here match the devices with the description okay the devices are given here are um, web camera speakers microphone uh, keyboard joystick scanner okay here there are the descriptions are given used for typing a text scans an image or text on paper and displays it on the computer screen okay c allows you to listen to songs and music d used to capture live images and videos e used for playing games on a computer okay f last one used to record your voice into the computer okay let's do the session what is it camera what is this web camera used for it is not used for typing text yes it scans an image on the text on a paper no it will not scan allow you to listen and music no used to capture live images and videos yes okay so the first one web camera goes to d very good correct so next one is speaker what speaker does okay you can listen to the music right let's see where is that uh, sc b scans the image or text no c allows you to listen to the songs and music yes the speaker goes to c very good the second one is a microphone what microphone does you all remember that right you can talk to your friends and you can talk you can talk a video or you can sing a music you can uh, sing a song so these are all uses of microphone correct we can use the microphone for so used for typing text no scans an image no mm, c and d it's done so used for playing games on a computer no used to record your voice into the computer yes so this microphone goes to f very good keyboard keyboard is having what are the what are the main features what why what are the what are the buttons are called in the keyboard are called as a key and board so keys the buttons are called keys commonly what is the keyboard commonly known as qwerty keyboard yes okay so what we does what we do with the help of the keyboard what we can do we can type text we can type numbers also special characters we can use uh, we can use all these keys okay let's now match it used for typing the text oh here is our correct answer correct very good when well, the next one is your favorite one joystick what is joystick used for joystick use is also a pointing device and what we does we with the, what we does with the joystick with the help of this we play game so what is left now b and e b scan images no joystick used for playing games on a computer so the joystick will goes to e very good and the next one is scanner scanning scanner what scanner does it scans the images or text on a paper and display it on the computer screen okay very good so it goes to the b okay very nice you have done a wonderful job now go to the second exercise what is that answer the questions 
Okay, name two types of computer mouse. What are the computer mouses? Two types of computer mouses are there: mechanical mouse and optical mouse. Very good, mechanical mouse and optical. Two examples for the input devices. Now we have seen plenty of uh, examples. What are those? Digital camera, web camera, track ball, light pen, touch screen, scanner, microphone, barcode reader. Our favorite two important things, I can say keyboard, mouse. Name any two pointing devices. What are the pointing devices which points? I told you while we are doing the session. What are those pointing devices? Joystick is a pointing device. Mouse is also a pointing device. Trackball is also a pointing device. Light pen is also a pointing device, correct? So we need only two. Mouse, yes, correct, and joystick. Very good. So you all done a very good job today. Okay, I hope you all understood my uh, today for today's lesson, correct? And very interesting, nice. And I believe you are able to understand all that was discussed and explained. Children, importantly, I want all you to revise the topics without fail. Okay, and do the exercises which are given in your textbook. I look forward to see you in my next session. Wishing you all a very good health. Stay safe. Stay home from all of us at Icon School of Excellence. Thank you. Today we learn mercy. Mercy is a French word, you know. Mercy, it's, it, it means thank you. So thank you and mercy. Have a great day.